Thank you very much for joining me this weekend on Brian Shields. Will there be a hurricane? Will there be a storm next weekend? I had this comment yesterday, so I want to address it. Throughout the hurricane season, I'm going to just get into everything we're seeing out there, and I'll show you exactly what I'm thinking. This comment yesterday, my dad showed me this hurricane developing in the Caribbean next weekend. Is this going to come our way? Now, the answer to that is highly unlikely. So you go ahead, you share this channel. My, I do this channel for safety, and, and my whole thing with this is, just to tell you what I'm seeing and what I'm not seeing out there and let you know everything that is going on. That is the point of this channel, a lives property at stake during the hurricane season, and I'm not going to mess around with that. So yes, an image like this is being splashed out there. I've seen it on other YouTube channels to kind of get clicks and stuff, but let me show you what's happening here. I want to show you several models and what I'm seeing with this. Now, this is the American model, the GFS. Now, it is still, and it has consistently been spinning up some sort of tropical storm or hurricane down the road. So this is today, and I'm gonna dive into today's forecast and a big surge of dust headed our way. Let me show you though, as promised, everything I'm seeing. This is by next week. This is by the middle of next week, showing some extra rain over in the Western Caribbean. Now, then down the road, late next week into the weekend as we go out on time, in this area here, it starts to show something spinning up. It starts to show either a tropical storm spinning up or even potentially a hurricane spinning up. So let me show you that way out in time here. And then let me stop the clock. This is late Saturday. Now here's why you know that this is most likely not the case because you see this image here. If we looked a few days ago, it was showing the same thing on a Thursday and then it was showing it on Friday. And then now it's showing it late on Saturday. It's just kind of kicking it down the road. As you take a look at the American model, I've been doing this for decades. Uh, it always shows something spinning up about 10 days from now. So again, it just keeps kicking it down the road, which is telling me it's not really seeing anything. But what I am watching out for is the Western Caribbean being kind of a hotspot. So, okay, let me show you what some of the other models are seeing. I'm going to show you two of those. Again, here's the European model. Now, taking you out in time, this is the European model for my friends over at Tropical Tidbits, going out in time into the middle of next week, not showing anything yet, not showing anything developing. So I'll take you out in time further. This is Wednesday of next week. By the way, I know this map's a little different. Here's the Caribbean. Here's the Gulf of Mexico. Here's the Atlantic. You have Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Jamaica right there. Now, let me take you into next weekend. Same time frame as the American model. It is not showing anything spinning up, but it is showing what I was showing you yesterday. Again, a blob of moisture in the Western Caribbean. So again, it's not out of the question that something develops. It is the hurricane season. That stuff happens, but I'm not seeing any signs of something super crazy. And the European model, very reliable model. American model is reliable as well, but again, in different circumstances. And that's my job kind of behind the scenes as a scientist to kind of know how these computers are put together. Now, let me switch over to another model, the Canadian, for example, not as reliable. Canadian also usually shows something spitting up uh, down the road. I'd always show us kind of that phantom storm, but just taking it out on time, this is by the middle of next week, not showing any crazy signs of development, and then taking it forward into the weekend, again, when the American model is showing some crazy systems starting to pop up, it's not showing anything at all. So this is by the time we get into late in the weekend, this is by Sunday, not showing any development. So again, we're gonna do this a lot this hurricane season. High anxiety time of the year. Yes, I am watching the Western Caribbean for the possibility of maybe something developing down the road. There is nothing imminent. I don't see any signs as of now that there's this hurricane developing. Now, let me show you one of the reasons why. So here's this area I'm watching the Caribbean. Again, another map that I don't often show. This is the wind shear. So what happens happens here is you see this red shading in the Gulf, that's high wind shear. What the heck is wind shear, Brian? Well, those are winds way up above our heads that cut across and cut the thunderstorms off of developing systems. So if you have high wind shear, that is a good thing because then storms can't really build up and develop. They get cut across by the winds up there. And this is by the time we get into late in the weekend, there's pretty significant wind shear in here. And that's why the European model, for example, is yes, it's showing a buildup of moisture, but because of all the wind shear and dust, which I'll show you in a second, it's also showing that, hey, things aren't likely to develop. So you have some, some things for it, some things against development, a couple more things against development, high wind shear around, which is 
a good thing as we get into next week. And as we go through the season again, we're going to be doing this a lot. And yes, sometimes things are going to spin up and I will track it storm by storm. No telling where things are going to hit. But as we go throughout the season, this time of year, usually there's a name storm or two popping up. We already had Arlene last weekend. Next name on the list is Brett, but really July into August. And then August, September into October, that's when 85% of all name systems happen. August, September, and October. So things will really ramp up late July into August. Now let's talk about the dust. Gulf of Mexico here, Caribbean here, here's the Atlantic, there's the coast of Africa. Where you see that yellowish shading, that's the thicker dust. And we've had some of that. Some spots have had a lot of dust. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, let me know how the dust is where you are. It has picked up the last uh, couple days. Leave that in the comments. Uh, this is a weather community. So put your info in the comments, let us know your location so all of us could kind of feed off of that. Now look at what happens next week. As we get deeper into next week, this is by Wednesday of next week. Here we go. So you'd have, uh, you get over toward Dominica, Barbados, St. Lucia, Trinidad, and Tobago. Another surge of dust right here starting to move into the Eastern Caribbean by the middle of next week and then deeper into next week. Look at this dust moving in. And this will be the biggest batch so far this year, swinging back toward Jamaica, Cuba, and then again in the Western Caribbean, even getting into Belize by the time we get into next weekend. So again, that's another uh, a sign that maybe we don't get development because if you do get a lot of dust, it does help prevent development. It's just one ingredient. There are so many ingredients out there. So again, yes, I'm watching the Western Caribbean, nothing yet, but the immediate concern has been some of that rain around. We've had some, we had some rain last night, by the way, in parts of uh, Belize, and we have some showers near parts of uh, Jamaica. So again, still watching this kind of moisture, but it is going to start to lessen some. The Bahamas, Cuba, crazy rain totals in Cuba. We had over 200 millimeters, way over 200 millimeters in spots, thinking of you, dealing with some of the flooding. We had some rain in the Cayman Islands. And again, Jamaica, watching that blob nearby, not organized, but still watching out for that chance of uh, flooding. Elsewhere out here, some tropical waves. And again, we need the rain in many spots. Now we have a new tropical wave headed into a Trinidad and Tobago right now. Not not every tropical wave is the same. Not every tropical wave means flooding. Uh, sometimes they do. Uh, this one, there is some moisture back behind it. So streaming into uh, Guyana, we'll see a better chance of some rain. And then picking up a little bit over toward Trinidad, even Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines the next couple uh, days. And watching more of these tropical waves, the one in the Central Atlantic, not much with it. Now the computer models are starting to latch on to some development by next week in the Eastern Pacific. So I'll monitor that as well. They're coming in better agreement that something will get brewing in the Eastern Pacific. So scattered storms today. Let me break it down now, then get into some of the forecasts. This is later today. Watching out for the flood threat parts of the Bahamas, Cuba, scattered showers, possible Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, hit or miss shower. Way too hot, as we well know. And again, hit or miss shower, Mexico, Belize, and Honduras. And I'm gonna focus in on parts of the Eastern Caribbean in a second. Trinidad and Tobago today, Guyana, Suriname, scattered showers, more widespread, Guyana and Suriname as that day goes on. So let me flip over to take you through the weekend as we work our way into our Sunday afternoon. You see how it does lessen. Yes, still some showers, Bahamas, parts of Cuba, scattered Cayman Islands and Jamaica, but not nearly as much as we were dealing with a couple days ago. But you see here with that new tropical wave coming in, rain chance ticks up a bit. Grenada, not that we're going to get a washout. Uh, Trinidad, we'll see a better chance of scattered showers as we work our way into tomorrow and again on Sunday and then just some spotty showers. Nothing widespread, but hopefully the pattern will eventually change. We did have a couple showers in spots uh, for my friends near uh, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda. You may have missed it if you blinked because they didn't last too long. We didn't get nearly enough, but there have been some passing showers as we've been talking about over the last uh, couple days. So again, rain totals next to nothing in some spots. Picking up a bit though, we could see 25 millimeters to 50 millimeters, one to two inches of rain through tomorrow night, two day total in part of Trinidad, especially on the south side, also over toward Guyana. Belize mainly dry, yes, a passing shower, but again, near Jamaica just depends on how that blob sets up. We'll watch that Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, and up through the Bahamas for the potential of uh, 50 millimeters of some rain. So watching out for that, not for all of us, but again, scattered about. So Belize, rain chance stays minimal, 10 to 20% chance as we go throughout the day. Jamaica, rain chance 40% today. Again, some spots dry, others could get dumped on. So watching Jamaica very carefully today because we've had that rain in spots in that flooding. Uh, the Dominican Republic, just scattered afternoon storms, not much, 
30% chance for today. Pop-up shower storm, very hot. And again, same thing through Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands, way too dry. I know all the way through Montserrat, St. Kitts and uh, Nevis, St. Martin. You can see again, uh, St. Thomas today, passing shower, 10, 20%. That's all Antigua and Barbuda, same thing. Rain chance 20% next couple days. Picking up a little bit Sunday into Monday. Again, with that next tropical wave mainly to the south. We may kick in one or two more showers. Dominica, 20 to 30% chance the next few days. And swinging back toward Barbados. Again, passing shower, easterly flow, that tropical wave moving in. A little bit more, though, as we get toward Grenada. You see it picking up 50% chance tomorrow and a 60% chance Sunday in Trinidad and Tobago. Monday, a 50% chance. So not a wash up, but the rain chance is going to pick up if you're headed to church tomorrow. Just just a heads up on that, could even have a few uh, morning showers around. So that new tropical wave moving in, that's just going to bump up the rain chance a little bit in the southeastern Caribbean. Next week again, all eyes on that next big surge of dust. It starts to move into the eastern Caribbean on Wednesday. I'll keep you posted on that. Still thinking of us with those water restrictions, water shortages, and ongoing blackouts. Uh, and watching the western Caribbean, not seeing any signs of a hurricane at this point, but there could be a little development down there. I'll just monitor that spot. That's what I'm doing for you as we get into next week. And again, the next name on the hurricane list is Brett. So my promise to you is to keep you covered. Thank you for being part of this channel and sharing it. I hope you have a good day ahead.